I think I learned a valuable lesson about teamwork a few days ago. Because a few days ago, I had to do something that I would never want to do in my life. But because it was my job, I had to do it. Basically, what I had to do was I had to apologize to a customer for something that I had nothing to do with, that I, it was not at all my fault. So I had to apologize, for, take a hit for the team, apologize for someone else. And um, I'm going to tell you exactly how that went. So at about the beginning of this month, this would be May, the beginning of May, a girl calls in to our service and asks to get set up with phone service. And I tell her that uh, getting set up with phone service, if she wants, to, she actually wants to transfer her own her old number to our to our service from CenturyLink. And so I tell her it's going to take about ten business days for that to happen. And she's okay with that because that's basically the, the, the process, I guess. Like there's some stuff you have to do with the FCC to get it transferred. And it takes about 10 business days. And so she was okay with that. And so, uh, yeah, I tell her that. And then I put in a task for uh, to set up phone service because I don't actually have the user privileges to set up phone service. And that's that. Well, 10 days go by and the customer calls back. And I happen to be the one that picks up the phone. She calls back. And she asks, oh, well, is the phone service set up? Are you ready to transfer the number? Is everything set up and good? And so I look in, look in her file and uh, don't see any number transferred or anything. So I give my manager a call and ask, hey, is this, is this, uh, this customer, has their, has their number been transferred yet? And he looks at it and then he says, oh, no. It looks like, it looks like we completely missed this. We completely missed this task. And then he says, like he completely missed the task, meaning it would be 10 business days from now, 10 days later, that, that, that it would take to get the, the phone service to be transferred over. And so he said, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get this phone, this phone number transferred as fast as humanly possible. I'm going to just like, I'm going to try and see if I can get it transferred faster than the normal 10, 10, 10 business days. Uh, I want you to tell her that it is taking a little bit longer than normal, um, but we will give her a call back as soon as it is transferred. Now, this is a straight up lie, right? Because what really happened was we fucked up. We did not put in the task to transfer over the service. That's what happened. But since uh, this is my boss telling me to do this, I lie to her. I say that it is taking a little bit longer than normal. It is taking longer than normal for the phone service to be transferred over. And she accepts that. She seems a little bit kind of mad, but she accepts that. Well... Ten days again have rolled roll by. So now it's been about 20 days since she first signed up for the phone service. And she calls back and she asks, okay, so you, you, you said that like transferring the number was taking a little bit longer than usual. Is it done yet? And so once again, I call my manager and I ask, is it done? Is it transferred? And he says no. And then he uh, looks it up and looks into it and looks into how long it's going to take. And he says, uh, looks like it's going to take, and it look, looks like it's going to be transferred finally over by the 31st of the month. And so now I'm put into a situation where I have to tell this girl not only that we had lied to her, but also that um, she's going to have to wait another 10 days. She's going to, so the, the total amount that she's supposed to wait, the total amount that she's going to wait is going to be like almost 30 days just to get her phone number transferred over. I have to tell her this. And none of this is my fault. None of this is my, I don't even have the privileges, the user privileges to uh, set up the phone service. If I had had them, I probably would have set it up immediately after, after taking the call, the first call. No, I have to explain this because uh, my manager is actually really busy working on other things. And so I ask him, what the hell am I supposed to say to her? Because from her perspective, she's been, she's going to have to wait 30 days just to transfer a stupid phone number over. 
And so he tells me to he tells me to offer her a free month of phone service. Because it is our fault. It was our fault. And then he hangs up. And so I just kind of sit there at my desk for five minutes trying to think about how to correctly word this. And um, also, you know, procrastinating because I really don't want to do this. I absolutely hate apologizing. And I hate even more apologizing for something I had nothing to do with. But finally, I pick up the phone and I say something along the lines of, um, you you actually called to set up a transfer a number over and uh, we were going to call and see see how that process was going and I'm going to tell you about how that how that what, what's going on so unfortunately it, it looks like we actually completely messed up with setting up your uh with making the request for your phone number to be transferred over and what that means is you're we're not going to be able to transfer the number until the 31st of May. Um, that is the due date that they have given us for the, the time that it will take to transfer the number over. Um, this is this was absolutely 100% our fault. This has nothing to do with anything that you did. 100% uh, our fault, and we are incredibly sorry for the inconvenience we've caused for you. And um, if you would like, we can offer you even a free month of phone service for... for how much trouble this this has caused. And I said something along those lines, right? And there was like a long kind of awkward conversation, but eventually she accepted it. And so I finally was able to apologize for someone else's mistake. And that, 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 was, that was great fun. But I think I can take something away from this because I think I actually did learn a valuable lesson about teamwork. And I think I learned something that would be that's going to be very valuable for me if I ever go for a job interview because they always ask you like, well, what does teamwork mean to you? Have you ever been on a team? You know what it means to take take one. And then uh, now I know. Now I have a literal story of me taking one for the team, and um, I can just explain that. So at least something valuable has come out of this, and. I guess I got the experience of apologizing to someone. I've never really had that experience because usually I'm just, uh, I mean, like I probably have, but I, I've never had that, like that grading of an experience, like that awkward of an experience apologizing to someone. So um, I think it's win-win, but I really didn't enjoy it at all. It was, it was the least fun that I've ever had in my life. But anyways, I guess that's all I have to say for this episode. I will see you guys next time. This has been the Coquino Podcast. Have a good one.